All right, good morning everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another Bitcoin price analysis. Bitcoin is getting hot and I think that a nice pump is about to come during this upcoming week. So we are going to have a look into that. And also we have some other major updates that I want to share with you guys, especially if you're looking for a new exchange, because I partnered up with this new exchange called KCX or KC Exchange. And uh, I figured here out that this is quite a nice exchange that you also could use because I told you guys that it's always good to diversify into many exchanges as possible. And on this one, we have a good sign up bonus, extremely low to nothing fees. So that means low to zero fees. As you can see here, spot zero fees, future maker fees 0% and only future stakers fees 0.02%. So if you're trading with big amounts of money or if you want to trade on spot or with futures with small amount of money or also big stacks and you want to uh, uh, scalp trade, that means that if you're entering in and out from trades, then this is the best one in my opinion because you have completely zero fees here. That means that you always can enter with uh, orders in and out all the time without paying too much fees. And that's why very good guys, this exchange here. So we have a nice sign up bonus as well here. Of course, uh, if you use my link that you find here right at the top in the video description, KCX sign up right now, get some nice, uh, discounts and of course also some nice sign up bonuses as you can see uh, here new use new user rewards you can claim a lot of bonuses here by just simply doing easy quests so definitely check it out guys use this exchange sign up right now i negotiated for you the best sign up conditions because like that of course uh, you win i win and we have a win-win situation. So definitely take advantage if you're looking for another good exchange where you can trade Bitcoin and altcoins. So in this video, I want to show you some signs that are suggesting that right now this could be a potential good bottoming area where we could see a massive bounce for Bitcoin. And at the other hand, also, uh, of course, a warning sign because we are, of course, not out of the woods yet. And uh, Bitcoin is, of course, still in high danger to fall down towards the 45 to 47 thousand dollars area so i'm going to show you some charts uh, that of course uh, should be helping you in taking decisions what to do right now so in the four hour time frame right now we are seeing a little breather as expected all the money flow is starting to be positive that is a good sign we also had bullish divergences here forming uh, in the four hour time frame i think it's not that relevant but uh, at least it is here and also as you can see bitcoin is now um, having four hour closes back above the 20 moving average so back above fifty seven thousand dollars and this is a good sign because we should in theory expect here this nice run up to test our new resistance at sixty one thousand five hundred dollars guys that is a very important resistance that bitcoin needs to break right now in order to say that we have at least a chance to resume the bull, bull market and also see again prices way above $70,000. The problem is short term is uh, that uh, over on the CMEs, let me see, yeah, this is the right chart. On the CMEs, uh, we closed on Friday at $56,600. So we are trading more than $1,000 above that price uh, level. That means that if we would open up at the current price level at 58k on monday in a few hours then we would uh, open up somewhere up here and we would have a new cme gap that most of the times are getting filled very quickly that means if you if you want to buy or if you want to long right now which in my opinion could be a good decision no financial advice just what i'm doing i'm probably also gonna buy much more because i think even though we we could eventually still be in this uh, downwards uh, trend and, and in this dump down towards 47k on the way down we still gonna have some pumps and some run-ups and create a series of lower highs most likely but that doesn't mean that you should not trade or that you shouldn't trade those events you can do that and also do money with that you can of course also short those rallies you can do whatever you want with trading of course everything is possible and that's why I think I just went out of my chart that I wanted to show you afterwards. Let me quickly go back uh, because uh, I prepared it nicely and now I destroyed it. So uh, let's refresh it. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, reopen up the chart. I think it should be saved here. Yeah, my indicators are here. All good. Nothing broken. 
we will return to this chart uh, um, in a short amount of time but uh, important is guys that you can long or short it doesn't matter in what direction the market is going you can go long or short thanks to exchanges like kcx bybit femex and so on you can go long or short doesn't matter where the price is moving and do money with it but if you want to long right now which in my opinion is not a bad idea i would wait for another pullback to at least close the cme gap that would be created if we stay here at 58k so i think a good entry point will be starting at around 56,600 dollars then if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that yes we recovered back within the calendar channels which is a good sign but we are getting currently rejected by the 200 daily moving average you can see that we are having now the 200 daily moving average as a resistance i don't expect that we're gonna fight for too long with it but as soon as we have a daily close above 58,600 dollars above the 200 daily moving average we're gonna see a nice pump into the middle line of the calendar channels and the 20 daily moving average to test this previous support trend line and now new resistance which is of course also matching now with the median line of the calendar channels at $61,500 this is currently the short term resistance where Bitcoin most likely is topping out if we are getting here a nice bounce if we have daily closes above we will most likely see a run up towards this previous support and resistance area which now is at around $67,000 dollars so we can long we can buy right now if you want to take this little trade because even if we're getting rejected here of course you can take some profits here and uh, i told you guys that i think a bounce will be incoming probably a strong one but afterwards we will see what happens because if we're getting rejected here or here or even here for example we can easily easily roll over and continue the downtrend here and break down that is of course possible as long as we don't break this upper resistance here at seventy thousand dollars that is the last resistance that bitcoin needs to break if we get here a nice bounce and on the way to the upside we're gonna have um, first of all here at sixty one thousand five hundred dollars resistance then at sixty seven to sixty six thousand dollars and then 70k those are the points where you could close your longs or take profits on your longs or also take some profits if, if you're buying on spot because i think that move will be incoming we have now also bullish divergence in the daily time frame between this low and this one which is basically uh, this low over here and this low over here which is much lower we have bullish divergence in the price action lower lows in the rsi higher lows very strong bullish divergence we have now a buy signal flashing in oversold condition we have all the indicators cooling off and setting up for a nice big move to the upside that at least will test $61,500 for the best case even here $66 to $67,000. If we break all those resistances, I think yes, Bitcoin will go to new all-time highs and we're gonna see immediately a continuation of this bull run that is possible. And also if we go over into this chart, which is the, um, let me quickly, so yeah, much better now. Dark mode is the only mode, guys. So, this is the weekly chart for Bitcoin and this is also a chart why I was bearish uh, since quite some time because you see that as soon as we have here bearish crosses on the MACD like here or here and recently also here when we were at around $68,000 we crossed bearish on the MACD on the weekly and every time this happened we had a crash down to the bottom line of the Bollinger Bands on the weekly here and here it happened. And you can see where we are right now, we are right at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. So in theory, the target is already reached based on those indicators. If you would just trade based on the MACD and based on the Bollinger Bands, the target has been reached here at around 56K. So in theory, we should see here a nice bounce into the top side of the Bollinger Bands. Like also here we had it, a nice run up into the Bollinger Bands. We got rejected and then another crash once we had another bearish cross. So we could eventually expect here a big bounce and push again towards 70k that is possible i think that if we push towards new autumn highs most likely we're going to see a continuation of the bull run towards much higher levels but um if here of course we would do something like here after this bearish cross after the second one you can see that every time we had a bounce we got rejected at the median line of the bollinger bands and this one is currently at sixty-five thousand dollars. so that's why I told you guys on the way to the upside if bitcoin is having now a bounce 61,000 first then 66 to 67 thousand dollars those are like the models of all um resistances that we have right now and then of course the ultimate resistance up here this resistance trend line at 71 thousand dollars 
If we break all of that, then yes, new all-time highs will be incoming and Bitcoin will continue the run-up and the, the low is already in. But if somewhere there we are getting rejected, especially in the mid-60s, then I think um, we're going to go down towards forty five to $47,000 because I don't expect that this big dump and this correction will be over in just a matter of one week after this huge long consolidation phase here at around $70,000. And also based on the monthly time frame, guys, I told you, we have now freshly monthly closes right below the top side of the Calvin channels at 67K. As long as we have monthly closes below, this is the mother of all resistances in the, mother, uh, in the, in the monthly time frame. And over time we should, or we are supposed to come down to test the median line of the Calvin channels at 47K. And all indicators are only by now starting to be shifted to the downside. Here, all of my confirmation indicators, stochastic RSI, everything is pointed out to the downside. Same like we had in every other cycle top for Bitcoin. Here, for example, we had the same setup and we just came down to the median line of the Calvin channels and then bounced from it to then just get rejected at the top side of the Calvin channels before we entered into the bear market. So that's why I think at least a test of 47K is possible. For the worst case, we would see a bear market down towards prices between 39 to $40,000, uh, no, 39 to $30,000. So somewhere down here at this uh, support trend line or support um, curve uh, at around 30k i don't expect that since i don't think we are in a bear market right now but you see that every low ended up here in this uh, support curve here also with this uh, big dump in 2020 we touched here the 4k area then here we bottomed out as well at fifteen thousand dollars that means that if we would be in a if we would enter into a bear market this would be the target here at around 30k i don't think that we are in a bear market in the opposite i think that for the best case we are just in this corrective phase here that are gonna end up most likely at 47k if not already here at 54k and then we gear up for the big massive move towards uh, the, the the cycle top of this uh, bull run that's why we have big warning signs in the monthly the correction has just started that's why i don't think that with this upcoming bounce that in my opinion is about to come if not this week latest in one or two weeks i mean yes we have it in the daily time frame but that doesn't mean that we basically have to run up immediately it is possible i mean it is possible but um if it's going to happen very fast here i think we will most likely get rejected somewhere and then come to come back down to much lower levels because bitcoin can stay in this pattern here remember in the daily especially if we switch over into the lines chart you can see that we are forming this nice resistance trend line and also this nice support trend line down here and this can of course uh, extend here for a very long time it is possible that we're going to stay for the whole year in this pattern here until we break out higher here that is possible and at the end we would end up here at around 47k would be matching all of our targets and um, yeah we will see what happens guys i think that a bounce will be incoming but i don't think this will take us immediately towards new autumn highs in the opposite this could be a good take profit area if you still don't have cash on the sideline or if you see everything again um, pushing like crazy to the upside and FOMO is coming back but we're getting rejected here maybe take some profits and have some cash on the sideline to buy at much lower prices uh, if you have no cash on the sideline otherwise um, if you're already um, feeling comfortable with your portfolio maybe check out also some other new upcoming meme coins that are coming out they are all very high risk of course but I would just uh, um, uh, invest an amount of money that you're willing to lose because some of them they are performing very well and you can also play around here in the crypto space. If you like the hamster combat game on Telegram, you can play it. The link is in the video description. Otherwise, we have new upcoming hyped meme coins like Pepe Unchained, Wiener AI, Play Doge, Bit Doge, Cad AI, and so on. You will find all those links of those new projects here in the video description as well. Check them out, guys. I bought all of them, especially Pepe Unchained, because this one here is selling off very, very quickly. As you can see, the API is dropping every day a lot. And I think with this one, uh, we could also make some nice gains once it's coming out. You can connect your wallet here and then uh, just purchase some and stake it until it is coming out. You see a lot of YouTubers and articles around this uh, new Pepe token, uh, which is a layer two on Pepe. 
we will see what happens with this one. Of course, high risk, but um, currently some of those are performing very well. Also, CAD AI, you can still buy and stake it if you want. You still get a lot of API rewards. That means at, if at some point, now it's completely selling off. So if you're buying CAD AI right now uh, through this link um, that you also find in the video description, you can buy and stake get very high API and you're basically buying at the bottom right now because if here we're getting an exchange listing or when we're getting an exchange listing then of course uh, here you have up big upside potential uh, with this one as well because it already had the big uh, fire sale here we had the initial big pump where we took some profits and right now everything is selling off that means well it pumped again a bit but um if it's if it continues to sell off then of course you can buy and stake it because once it is getting a, an exchange listing then of course um this one will skyrocket most likely all the links are here for pepe cat ai play doge winner ai and so on check them out guys and have a great sunday we're gonna see us all tomorrow with another update video of course thank you for watching check out all the links in the video description and see you tomorrow bye for now